All right, welcome back to yet another episode of I'm Down. I'm your host, George. It's your boy, Alman. We got Jay in the back. Uh, we got a new member right now uh, helping us actually film this. So we appreciate you guys uh, for watching. We thank you guys for coming. Appreciate you, Julia, for pulling up. Uh, real quick, oh, what's the first topic that we got today? I, f I completely just, like, forgot. Okay, right. No, no, no I, I know what you're talking about. My bad. Um, so faith, right? Okay, so we're just having a little bit of conversation right now. Uh, I didn't ask you. What is your faith in? Uh, faith or do you have faith at all? I think I do have faith, but like you said, you gotta, I gotta see it. I'm gonna see it more to believe it, guy, dog. Yeah. So you need proof. I need a little bit of proof, but I do agree with what he says. Uh, sometimes, if you convince me enough, it depends. If you yeah. convince me enough to, or describe it enough, I might have faith in it. You might got you, but you wouldn't say you have faith in a higher power. I think there is a higher power. I think I have a faith in a lot of things. I think there's a higher power. Po higher power. Higher power. But there's also shit out there that we don't know. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that, that part, I think, for sure, we are just talking about aliens not that long ago. So would you would you say then, like, looking at those little UFOs and little things like that, would that be, like, proof enough for you to believe that there's aliens or you still need more You still need more information? Or are you already settled in, like, yo, there's aliens for I'm sure? I'm settled in the fact that at least I know that there's something out there and we're not alone. Okay, gotcha. We're but but alone. you believe that for sure. Like, that, that's for that, sure. That, that has to that, be. That can't be explained. That has to be not from here. Gotcha. It has to be from somewhere. Yeah, It could have came from anywhere, somewhere. You feel like, though, there is aliens, though? Because, I mean, in six months, we're technically going to find out. Like, they, the, the, yeah, because remember, I was just searching up all the things. So, if I'm oh, not, yeah, they, they have, have 180 a, uh, days. Yeah, yeah, so CIA gonna, has about 180 days gonna, to release. They, they better let us know, man. But I feel like it's going to create, like, it's not going to be as important. Yeah. But it's going to create some kind of, like, stir like something yeah because people are gonna freak out i think so, yeah, i know i'm so. gonna freak out if they come so up too. and tell us hey look we've been communicating with them like what i don't think though they're gonna give us the full information no because of the of government so of they're gonna not. they're gonna they're, they're, gonna, they're yeah. gonna make some shit they're, up they're, it's, it's like it's like baby food i think they're gonna give it to us like baby food give me like masticadito like yeah. stuff that we could like yeah, in, uh agree. digest you know what i'm saying yeah, all right cool because i feel like if they just like Give us everything that they got for real, it might, like it might create some. Yeah, panic. people are gonna be like, some, "Oh shit," you know. Yeah, a cause. Out, I think like a, a full worldwide panic, and we're not gonna really know, right? So it it, it varies, right? Um, Jay, where, where you at with it? But yeah, with your faith, what do you what do you believe in? What do you think that exists in the world, cosmic beings and whatnot? You already know what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but the viewers don't the know. Viewers don't know. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I believe in a god. Yeah. You, be, you believe in, the, in a God? In God. In God. What is God? Can you explain that real quick? Like, what's God to you? Uh, Jesus Christ, His Son, Holy Holy Spirit, and God. Gotcha. Uh, the, the traditional, right? I guess you would call that the traditional God. Okay. Uh, for the most part, uh, my faith is in the strongest, but you know I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, that's a, you're building a connection with God. It's not that easy to. Yeah. Well, but I'm, I'm more of a, honestly, I'm more of a believe, uh, more of a, just like Alma says, I, I need proof, but at this point, I don't need proof. I'm trying to just get rid of that, that ideology of mm, I need proof. That you need proof. Yeah. What, 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 then what makes you feel that there is a God then? Like, what has happened in your life, or maybe it has been, so, has there been a sign or some something that you feel, feel like? like here's the thing with, uh, with uh, being alive in general, I feel like the, that we are too perfect to just be at an accident. Right. This isn't by chance. You don't live life by chance. You get what I'm saying? Our, monec our molecular structure is too perfect for us to be an accident. You get what I'm saying? You have an immune system. When you look at your hands, you get grab things. Do you not see the, the, the cells in your fingertips? No, you don't. But you know they're there. And that was just scientific studies. But you're perfect. Do you not see that? No matter how bad you think life is, you're perfect just because you are alive. We're a machine, nigga. And you We're can think. You're machine. a human. You're a humanoid. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think, and, and I think you're hitting them. I think the most powerfulest thing about faith, or, okay, no, because that, that would be a wrong saying, right? But a very powerful thing, right, relating to faith is perspective. Meaning, like, if you have faith that there is a God, right? Uh -huh. True faith. I mean, like you wake up and you acknowledge, right, that your God is real, is real, and I have another day of life because of God, right? I'm grateful. That exactly. I'm grateful, and you said it perfectly. As a matter of fact, I'm grateful. That gives you a whole new perspective on life now because you start appreciating you, things. Right? Exactly. Now, like you wake up with a whole different energy. You don't wake up mad because maybe you slept and your neck hurts. You know, you slept wrong, your neck hurts. Now you wake up cranky. 
you're able to ignore because you know so, sometimes we just wake up and we're not in the best mood you know, for whatever reason and in this is in those times where our faith is tested you get me because if you truly believe in a higher power, if you truly believe that life is more meaningful than what it seems to be, if you truly believe that you have a bigger purpose than the one that you're experiencing right now, then for you to be able to put whatever's bothering you at the moment, whatever's messing up your mood at the moment, and still realize, no, 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 I got to be grateful because I'm alive right now. The fact that I get to live, the fact that I have organs that work, the fact that I can walk, that brings a whole new perspective to life that a lot of people are missing, right? Because in many cases, we talk about like money, how money never really makes us happy, right? And so when we talk about faith, it over it every time we talk about faith and we talk about being happy and being fulfilled, we don't talk enough about the other side that allows us to get there. You get what I'm saying? So okay, for example, right? Um, what's what's this girl's name again, Jay? The, the girl that was just on Hollywood Unlocked? What's her name? I think her name is Ariel Annis. Okay, right? So, this is, okay, this is why I'm going to use her as an example real quick, right? She is somebody who claims she's Christian, right? Has faith in God, right? Uh-huh. But she's doing OnlyFans, and she's doing nude stuff on OnlyFans, right? Which is what most people will say the complete opposite <laughs> of what you're supposed to be doing if you have faith in God, right? Like, literally yeah, the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the thing, though. We can, we can have a debate about, oh, that's not right. That's not the Christian way. This is not the third. And we will go around in circles all day, right? That, that, yeah. That's not even what I want to bring up. The end I want to bring up her perspective, though. Because I'm not, I'm not, first of all, I'm not saying that what she's doing is right. I don't believe that what she's doing is right. However, I respect her perspective because she's saying, I was taught when I was a little kid that God forgives you no matter what. That he's unconditional. he has unconditional love. You get me? That faith right there, like whether you agree with it or not, is still something to kind of look at and be like, well, I mean, she's kind of telling the truth. Because when you get to comparing sin, that's where we start to have a more human talk. You get me? No, stripping is way worse than maybe selling drugs or, or whatever. You know, whatever moral compass you may have, right? That's not the conversation I want to have. Because if we have the conversation of sin is sin, like, you know, and we're just going to regard it as that. The fact that she's still necessarily not living her life right in our eyes, but she still has faith that God is going to forgive her and that she's still doing the right thing and that she prays every night. There's some there's a powerful perspective in that. You know what I'm saying? But all of this, though, that, 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 that I'm trying to get at always comes back to money. And the reason it comes back to money and why it's such a hard thing is because that's usually where people lose a lot of faith, right? Because money. Yeah, because when you're going through real hard times, bro, and you're struggling, it's hard for you to be like I'm going to church this time. Exactly. I'm it's hard. Take up that it, it's hard shift. for you to even think like, yo, God is good. Because it's like, yeah. it's like if God is good, why am I suffering? Right? Like if God I'm I'm not a bad person. I don't do harm to people. Why am I going through why this I pain? Starve. Exactly. And and, and yeah. those and those are those are the times where God, I feel like, tests you the most. You know what I'm saying? When you when you get put into the storm, when shit is not comfortable for you no more, when you gotta struggle, yeah, when you gotta easy, figure it out. It's easy to have faith when you up. It's real easy. Real fucking exactly. easy to go to church when you up and you happy as fuck because you know you good. Exactly. You but good. but when you're bad and you're doing bad, it's hard for you to like continue to keep that mindset, that positivity. You get me? So all the shit that got you to where you were at at one point. It's important for you to keep that. Like, if you got to the position that you're in because you're being positive, then when shit gets negative, it's not a time to be negative. It's If anything, it's a time to be even more positive. Have you, positive, seen, that? Have you, you know? seen that before? Yes. Have you seen Hell that in yes. person? Like, you're, like, let's say a good example is like you're at church and you see somebody, you're like, ooh, he's doing bad. But he's still trying to go through it. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. Like, Hell yeah. Hell, like I, but I, I think, you know what it? I think? I, but I think that's every real Christian. You know like, what? every real, every real, uh-huh. You know what? So when I've looked for God throughout my life, I've always been in a bad position. Mm. I've been, I'm the exact opposite of what people think. Like mm. when I'm bad, I look for God. Yeah. But there's people that say, oh, you only look for God when you're in a bad position. Bro, I'm in a good position. I'm looking for God. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And that's a blessing. I'm, I'm going to tell you why, though. Because this is the thing, right? And I've said this before. We all need to get to a financial point where we can not just survive but live a little because yeah. once you're able to live a little, then you're able to appreciate a little bit more. You yeah. get me? Like you're able to now understand, okay, like 
I'm not trying to make ends meet anymore. I'm not struggling to put food on the table. I'm not struggling to pay the rent. I'm not struggling. I'm trying to make somebody else happy. Exactly. Now, you're, now that you, you know you have your money right, you're able to maybe take a vacation or, or two. Maybe you're able to go to more day nights in a month. You know I mean? Maybe you're able to buy your kids, you know, something the clothes that they, that they want. wanted or something or like exactly something yeah, that they yeah. want. You know, you're able to find a different appreciation for life. I feel like a lot of us, especially like in the Hispanic community, right? Like our parents, and we we're just talking about this the other day. They bust their ass, they work, 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 and then all they do is just continue to provide. You get what I'm saying? Like, like they're, they they're, don't live. Yeah, exactly. Like their whole they thing is live. not to live. The whole thing is survival. You get me? Like, yo, we came from another country. We got to figure it out. We got to feed the kids. We got to make sure everything is good. And so that mentality carries on. So it's hard for you to work on yourself when you're too busy trying to get money. Like, you're too busy trying to, like, provide for everybody. It's hard for you to, like, to sit down, right, at the end of the day and be like, what did I go through today? What did I fuck up in? What, how can I become a better human being tomorrow? Like, it's hard for you to go through that shit if in, in your head it's like, fuck, bro, like, I got to pay this tomorrow. Or fuck, man, I, I'm, I got to figure out how I'm going to pay rent. If not, yeah, we're gonna, yeah. they're going to get evicted. And so that, that's the thing, right, like, where money doesn't make you happy, but it gives you the opportunity to start to appreciate things. But now this is the thing, right? Now check it. This is where shit gets real beautiful. In Giselle's case, right, he was saying, like, before he used to look for God or whatever faith you believe in, right, when you were down and out. Because that's the easiest time to look for God, if anything. When you're down and out, when you look for God, right? But you're when you're doing good, exactly, you're hoping for something to happen. But when you're doing good, just like you said, it's the hardest thing it's to the do. the hardest thing you pay attention but to. But the fact things. that you're doing that speaks volumes on your, on you actually maturing. You know what I mean? On you actually trying to, like, evolve as a human being. It speaks volumes. Because, like you said, like, you're doing well right now. But you're still trying to find that greater good, that purpose in your life and i think that that's the shit that we battle with all the time you know what i'm saying well, one of the topics that you have brought up today right was the whole lottery shit right so there's a billion dollars right out there out there right yeah that anybody yeah. could win yeah. so you win the billion dollars you're happy as fuck right because now you're like oh man i could get to do all this it's shit a little, that I it's do. a little happiness that comes in because you know you're a little, technical a little huge bit. a little bit huge, huge whatever you want to call it huge but you don't think about whatever happens after you don't even think about you can be able to lose that money. It's just like, oh, that's my money, and I'm not, I'm not going to lose it. But you can. You really can. And th this is the craziest part about that, right? Most people don't, still don't understand that the more money you have, the more of what you are you become. Yeah. So if you're yeah. naturally a reckless person, you're if you're a naturally an impulsive person, <laughs> you're going to become an even bigger reckless and impulsive person with money because now you are able to afford, right? It's like I was watching the Jeffrey Epstein documentary, right? And one of the, one of the dudes, was one of his like ex-employees was saying he was a sociopath that could afford to live out his fantasies. Like, meaning that the, the reason why he was able to, like, rape all these girls and do because all these he things the was... Money to. He, he Yeah, like, yo, I'm going to pay for your school. So, of course, they're not going to fucking say nothing. You know, I'm going to put you in a, in a great yeah, house and I'm going to pay for it. Like, exactly. Horrible. So, when you have that money and you're not in good terms within yourself, you're only going to self-sabotage yourself even more. But Top we down. don't care about that because we just want the fucking money. We don't even think about what kind of person are we going to become after we have the money, right? Because because before the money's even laid out in the table, right? And we're, we're talking about it, right? We, we played the lot or whatever, right? We're talking about, oh, if I win it, I'm going to take care of my family and I'm going to do this and I'm going to invest smart and I'm going to do all these things. But then when you actually get the money, you then you really find out shit. exactly. And you, you really find out exactly shit. what you're about. Are you really going to do all the shit that you said? Or are you just going to talk the shits and then when the shit is time to, to play that game and be about that action, you're going to fold, yeah. which most people fold because they don't realize like, yo, life is literally about taking the right steps to get to where you need to be. Like most of us aren't getting the blessings that we want or the things that we want yet because we're not ready for them. We're not ready. Like, like. Again, my faith is in God. I believe in God. And I understand that God gives you the things that you can handle. That's what I've always learned. Like, God doesn't give you more than you can handle. So the things that you go through, even when they seem for you, like, they're impossible for you to get through. They're like, for you. They're, they're, they're for, for you. Exactly. Like, yo, you're built you're for that. that. You're built for you're that. Built yeah, for I mean, that. you can you get over that. You just got to find a way. And you, you just got to find But the way. biggest thing is not even find a way. The biggest thing is not to give up. Because yeah. finding a way... Is the process. That's you the process. You just figuring that out is the process. Does giving up mean losing faith? Yeah. Hell you yeah. You think so? Yeah, I, I think giving up is when you lose hope. And when and you, you lose, lose hope, hope, you lose faith. You damn near lost faith because it's like, 
And that, but that's what happens to a lot of us, right? A lot of us become hopeless. Like, and that's why I say, like, oh, he's, you know, when you hear the phrase hopeless romantic, like, that means that that person just continuously, without any doubt, just is going to continue to be a romantic. Even though it's hopeless because he never finds the love that he wants to find or whatever, right? But it's hopeless in the sense that you get lost in that, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's the same way, like, in life, right? Like, okay, in life, you lose hope of you ever being able to reach a height, maybe a career height that you want. Maybe yeah. you want to become a millionaire. A lot of people, go a lot of people become hopeless. A lot of people are hopeless. Most of, your, most of the people around you will tell you, bro, why are you even trying to do this for? Like, what's the point of doing that? Like, for what? Like, you're not going to, but it's too hard to do that. It's too hard to become a millionaire. Like, why are you even trying to do that for? Like, this is the cards that we're dealt. Like, we got to just do this. But no, like, you never, you that's never where hope heard comes of, in. You never heard a man going through midlife crisis? Oh yeah, hell yeah! You've heard all of the that? time, yeah, I, all the time. I didn't know what that was until like uh, I had somebody like go through it, like, mm -hmm. and he told me what the guy did, and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. He's just going what did, through what it. What did the guy do? He he he's a uh, he was he has a wife and he has two kids, whatever, and he just started cheating on his wife, being an yeah, alcoholic, like, like, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. he there was at one point he just stormed out the house, went to the store, get some lick, and he didn't look back. Yeah. And I'm like, why is he doing it? Like, he, he's stable. And yeah. he just, like, went through it. He's like, yo, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah. And it's just, that really happens to me. I didn't believe it. I was like, oh, that guy's just fucking crazy. But no, he really went through it. I feel, I feel like that happens when you lose your way. When, 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 you, when you no and longer. that's the thing that men go yeah, through. Like, a lot, though. That, that's, that's the thing. It's, it's things that men go through, like, all the time. Let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of a, a quarter-life crisis? Yeah. Tell Ahmed about it, cause I don't you know what a quarter life crisis is? I mean, I was just talking about Giselle, to Giselle with this, right? Toy, so, in our 20s, a lot of us go through a quarter life crisis because we are so caught up in this, like, I feel like what we, we call this Instagram world or this virtual reality world where we're seeing a lot of our peers, right, do shit, right? You see them take trips, you see them go out to the club, you see them wear nice clothes, you see them driving nice cars, right? All of this stuff, right? And so we look at that and we're thinking that we're missing out on something. We're thinking that we're, we're not where not, we're supposed to yeah. be. Like, we're, like, whoa, it's like, I went to high school with this person. This person has this, this, that. They have a house. They have this. Yeah, they have yeah, that. Yeah. I don't have that. Like, like am, I, am I doing it wrong? Am I not? And so a lot of people, they have, they have like, usually, and I've heard this more with girls. Right? Like, I remember I was talking to this girl, old friend, right? She I was like, like. It affects girls more than anything. Yeah, because they, they're usually the ones that plan more shit, all right? They'd be like, oh, by the time I'm 25, I want to have kids. I want to be married. I want to have my career going. I want to have a house already. Like, you have all these plans. But the number one thing that we don't realize, and the reason why we have a quarter-life crisis, right, in our 20s, is because you don't realize that you're young as shit. Like, we still think that 50 years old is old. Yo, you're still, you're still fucking young as shit. Like, if you think about it, right? You're halfway there, From buddy. the moment you graduate you're high school. halfway there. you just halfway but there. But think about it. From the moment you graduate high school, right? You're 18 years old usually, right? You just became, like, a living person in my book. Because now you're out of the bullshit, right? Out of, like, the popularity contest. Out of the whoever looks good, whoever's the most athletic, is the one that's the alpha. Distractions. You're out of that world. Exactly. There's, you're there's out of that world. distractions. Now, now you, you get, get to learn the real how to world. be your own person. Exactly. Now you got to go get a job. You got to learn how to pay bills. You got to learn how to manage your money. You got to have set certain goals. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to realize real quick that you're going to fucking go nowhere. And now you start to live. So what makes you think that? So you've been living 18 years, right, of bullshit, basically, right? Your mom's been taking care of you. You go home. You watch TV. You bullshit all the fucking time. You jack off. You don't do shit. <laughs> you get me? You don't do shit. 18 years old comes around. You're 25. You've only been living for like seven fucking years. Seven yeah. real years. Seven you get me? Years. In that time, you're learning how to crawl, if anything. You get me? You're, you're, you're fucking confused as fuck because you're going to college. Button, like, that's that's literally what it is. Button. The minute you graduate high school is a reset button. And that's exactly what everybody should say. Like, everybody should, like, like high school should get you prepared for, yo, just understand that by the time you get out of here, everything changed. Like, everything is different. It don't matter how good you look. No, well, maybe that part's not that true, right? But it don't necessarily matter how athletic mm. you are now. Because the good looks is going to, you know, that's a argument itself. But the point is that all that popularity shit that you used to do in high school, that all shit doesn't shit fucking do matter no more. Care, but yeah, that shit, no, that shit it doesn't fucking matter no more. The thing about the most popular kid in your fucking school, I'm not saying that he's a at. loser now. No, that's not what I'm trying at. to say because he might be a at. fucking success. But I have no idea where he's at. Okay, no but you knew where he was at in high school. Yeah. And, then that's, and that's the whole point. You get me? Like, now you got to deal with real life. So the, most of this quarter life crisis that we deal with now is we feel like we're not moving forward when in fact you are every day that you live you're moving, moving forward. forward you're learning a little bit more so by the time you're 30 years old yeah first of all by the time you're 30 you don't have to have your shit together 
right? People are also on that. Like, no matter bro, what anybody 30, says, bro. bro no matter what 30, anybody I'm, says, bro. No, because this is the thing, bro. Everybody's journey is individualistic. I'm going to give you an example right now. You can't, say, you can't say, compare your journey exactly, to another person or exactly, your peers because you're different. Exactly. You're completely So if they got their shit together at 30 and you don't, you don't have to stress over that. You don't have to kill yourself over that. And, and, it, and it's ridiculous how we put the material things to First. like, to, to exactly, to showcase how we're not where we're supposed to be. Because that's literally what it is. It's like, this person has a house, I don't have a house, so I'm not where I'm supposed to be. This person has a Beamer, I don't have a Beamer, so I'm not where I'm supposed to be. This person wears Gucci, I don't wear Gucci, so I'm not where I'm supposed to be. It's like, why do you put these material things? Yo, check it out. Let's say you buy a house at 20 years old, right? Okay, you buy your first house at 20 years old, 10 years down the line. You live in the same house, I go buy a house at 30. What's the difference between me and you? We both have a fucking house. Like, there is, like, like again, because we continue to put ourselves in the box, we continue to compare ourselves, and, yo, your journey is your own journey. Your path is your own path. Maybe you're there's not meant of, yeah. to be the nine-to-five worker. But there's, you a lot of, there's a lot of blame to, like, social media and stuff like that. Absolutely. People just, that Absolutely. That's a lot to blame But it's for. a blame to us. We yeah, gotta blame ourselves. Yeah, as well, too, because we, we force ourselves to look at shit like that. We put that in front of us. That shit doesn't well, pop up this, sometimes right, if, in front if, of if us. You watch, if you watch The Social Dilemma, you, ever, you haven't seen that yet, the documentary? Nah, I haven't seen The Social Dilemma. Get a chance to watch it, right? And it shows you how, like, these companies like Google, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, they're tracking you. Not only are they tracking you, but they've created, like, like these autonomous beings of you. Like, these, like, virtual beings of you that, like, stand behind the phone. So, like, whenever you're scrolling through Instagram, they can detect, like, even, like, how your eyes respond to shit. How long? First of all, they track how long you stayed in the picture, how long you watched it for. Like, they can track that. Like, how long you... Like, you're scrolling, yeah, data. and they track, like, how long you stay to that which, post. Which and through there's that, companies that do that, and they sell... Uh, that's how they no, sell. No, Twitter, Facebook, make, Instagram, all these all shit. these companies do that. Exactly. So, they grab this, and... Because the, the whole point is that we're the product, right? Like, like okay, how does Instagram make money? Instagram makes money through ads. Those ads get watched by who? By you. And if you watch the ads, they get paid more money. That's just simple. How, that's simply how it works. Yeah, those waters are murky for me, bro. Very, that's just, very murky. That's some, some shady shit. You're over here tracking the nanosecond of how, how long somebody yeah. looks at but, something. But, but that, that's how they're able to control you to, to a degree. So all of us going through this quarter-life crisis, a lot of it's bullshit. Because you see little baby at 22, 23, throwing $100,000 in the air, and you feel depressed because you can't do that. That's fucking ridiculous, bro. Like, that no, doesn't mean that's happiness not even, either. It, that, it doesn't that, even mean Even if you was to do that, that doesn't mean you're going to be happy. But it's ridiculous, though. I mean, I'm just saying, like, that, that, that entire thought process is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Weak-minded people. You know people. what was interesting? Yesterday, my girlfriend showed me... Uh, you know who Nikita Dragon is? Yeah, the transgender uh, oh, the guy. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Women, whatever. What's well, a transgender guy? He's a dude. That, but that turned into a woman. Yeah. That's yeah. You know he's 21. He's 21. He's turning 21. Whoa. That's what I said, bro. I don't know who that Whoa, is. Whoa, I didn't know that. I don't know who that is. It's a it's a very popular YouTuber like. Um, it's a, the, the Chinese uh, transgender. Yeah, he's. I don't know if he's Chinese. Asian, he's Asian. Asian. I, or he looks Asian. Let's go with that. I don't know if, where he's from. Um, something like that. Uh, that's a little. That's a little racist. I ain't gonna lie. That's a little Taiwanese. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and he's, he's 21. Yeah, that's he's crazy. turning 21. That's the same shit what happened with Dwayne Wade's kid. Nigga said, I'll let him cut off his dick if he's old, he wanted to. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. When and it little comes boozy, to those. Little boozy, yeah, little boozy had to take it by Mike. <laughs> to be honest with you, though, you see, th this is the thing, right? And I, I'm when it comes to those kind of things, I am on the other end of them when it comes to this. Whatever the Bible says, right, for you to do, and this is what something that Giselle's been saying for a while that just clicks. Whatever the Bible says, right? Oh, like this is bad. Uh, being transgender is bad or being gay is bad. That's a sin. Whatever. Whatever it says. It is none of my business as someone who has faith to be telling you or trying to persecute you or trying to judge you for that. It's none of my business. Like God gave us free will for a reason. So I'm nobody to try and like dictate what you should and shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? God gave us. And again, that's something that Jay's been saying for a while. That shit clicks because it's the shit that makes the most sense. It's too many people wasting their time trying to tell some. It's different when you tell somebody and you're coming from love, right? Like, look, maybe Yo, you try to explain to yeah, them yeah, what your I thought feel, process is. And, they, and maybe they want to have an open conversation. Fine. But it makes no sense. Like, you ever, you ever seen uh, Chuck and Larry? Like, I'm not pronouncing Chuck and Larry? I think so. Okay. There's sure. a scene when they're at the club, right? And in the club outside, there's a bunch of Christian protesters. They're protesting like gay people. And they're like, oh, you guys are an abomination. And this and the third. It's like... What is the point of you going out there to do that for? Like, who are you to judge them? Like, who the fuck are you to be out there trying to tell these people how to live their life? For what? 
They're going to do what they want to do when they leave anyways. It's, it's, You're not coming with the love of God. You're not coming with the love of Jesus. You're just coming over there like to prove your point. like in front yeah, of the abortion thing. clinics and shit like that. It, bro, they just out there. I'm not saying what they're doing is wrong. What they're doing is right. But what I'm going to say is that you pushing onto somebody who's going through maybe a traumatic moment in their life, going through some shit in their life, you trying to like push your like will onto them. That's, that's wrong, not going to fucking do anything, bro. That's like wrong. people don't work. If that was the case, God would just force us all to worship him. You get me? He would just work. He would just program us all to just be zombies and just do whatever the fuck he wanted us to do. No, yeah, the whole point yeah, was yeah. Yo, you have free will to make the decisions that you're going to make. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Sometimes those interventions might prevent someone from making a mistake yeah. and then they repent for but it later on. What are the chances on. of that? No, but if, and that's the thing though. The whole thing is about how you come into it because most people have this passion that they want to stop it and they don't want you to go through it. But, bro, don't impose your will on someone else. Because yeah, that's not yeah. what Jesus would do. Yeah, that's not what God would yeah. do. Or, or whatever faith you follow, that isn't what they would do. Or maybe it is. And then that's a whole different conversation, right? Because it depends on what you well, believe. What we're talking about ourselves right now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that whole thing about pushing. Uh, we're supposed to be God. Uh, similar to Jesus. Right. We're supposed to follow how he acted. Mm -hmm. God never acted like that. He never persecuted someone for being gay or being sick. or He treated everybody equally. Should we not treat them equally as well? Right. It was, it was what Jesus yeah, was doing, right? Yes, the Bible says you shouldn't be gay. Yes, I could tell you, but I'm not going to kill you over it. I yeah. have no yeah, reason. I'm silly. not here to tell you yeah, how to yeah. live your life. I'm here to suggest yeah. what, what I've been taught to and what the Bible tells me to tell you to do. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Uh, bro, the, the, the thing about faith, bro, is that, is that it's something that, like, I, I just feel like you know, when it comes down to having faith, even if it's having faith in yourself, even if it's having faith in yourself, it's always going to be about, you know, keeping that with you everywhere you go. When you wake up, you walk you walk that, you carry that cross yeah, with you. Yeah. You get me? Like, the you. minute you wake up to the minute you go back to sleep, sleep. Yeah, that's you. what you carry. That's the whole point of faith. And w when you believe in yourself and you have faith in you, you understand that, yo, I'm working out here, I'm doing this, people don't believe in me, people say not to do it, people say it's dumb, but I believe in me and I'm going to continue to do it and I'm going to continue to go. And usually those are the people that through above everything are the people that usually make it on the other side. And yeah, that, that's and, and, and that's I, what I, I kind of, believe that. Yeah, and that's, that's what I want to get to. Like that, that is faith in real life. Like, when you talk about show me what faith is in real life, then let me show you a couple people that believed in themselves before anybody did. They have faith in themselves and look at what they were able to accomplish. Now, imagine having that same faith in God. What are you going to be able to accomplish? Anything. It's going to be shit that you don't even know of, though. That's the whole thing, right? Yeah. Or whatever it is that you're faith in, it's going to be shit that you don't, you couldn't even imagine. Because that, because if you believe that there's an all-powerful being, then it's more powerful than whatever shit you can get on this earth. Because everything from this earth is going to go back to the dirt anyways. Mind you, all the shit that we find precious, diamonds, where do we find them? In the fucking dirt. dirt. Gold, in the dirt, fucking dirt. dirt. Oil, in the fucking in dirt. dirt. All the shit that we hold precious... In, in the, the fucking, fucking dirt, dirt, for the most part. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So that, 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 that's just like the, the whole mindset, bro. Um, you got one last topic? Nah? Um, you got anything else to say? Because we want to make this one a short one. I'll make it short and sweet. Nah, man. Good? It's well, it's man, good. look, man. If you heard us and you thought that what we said was dumb, was idiotic, we feel you. And if you're feeling us, then we feel you too. Um, once again, this is I'm Down. We appreciate you guys for listening. Uh, we're, we changed the Instagram. It's I'm Down Podcast now. Everything else is going to follow suit. But for right now, it's I'm Down on Facebook, Twitter. We I'm thank you guys down. for watching. We appreciate you guys for always supporting. Um, we really do we do, do appreciate it. Give this thing a like. Give this thing a subscribe. subscribe give this thing the comment. bell so it can comment, help out the bro. algorithm. Hey, All that shit's not eating. I told you that already. Don't be saying that. <laughs> don't be saying what? What, the comment? No. God. Oh, oh. oh. I, I'll, I'll take know. it back. I don't know. Comment. <laughs> All right, man. We appreciate you guys. This is I'm Down. Till next time. <laughs> Peace. Peace.